Uh, good morning, folks, and welcome back to the farm. You see, it's just beginning to be, well, almost first light here. I'm gonna head out, do morning chores, but first, I've had an idea in my head all night. It's been burning a hole in my brain. So I'm gonna run to the shop here real quick, fire up the saw. We're gonna have a little arts and crafts here. 5.30 in the morning, let's have arts and crafts. That's crazy, but we're gonna try something here. So here we are in the shop. <laughs> The chaos that we call, you know, the, the woodworking area. I gotta, I gotta do some serious cleanup here. And a bottle. This is, well, I mean, this is just coffee sweetener, flavor, cream stuff. But uh, it represents an awful lot of different bottle types, depending on uh, on your preference. And I thought, hmm, what would, how could I make, you know, a really cool bottle holder? This thing would just sit there and kind of float. And I've seen some ideas, and I have you know, one or two scraps of wood. So I'm gonna fire up the saw and let's see if we can make something magical happen. So I have one pretty nice piece of wood, an old age. This is actually this old barn board. And thought, well, maybe I could, maybe I could do something with that. So that's first things first, get a piece of wood. Second things, second, is figure out how big the neck of your bottle is. Now, I don't think I have a spade bit big enough, but I have some hole saws. So, well, we could go over like that. That would give us a pretty good, pretty good. I don't want it to be too big, you know, something a little bit bigger. That might make things just too sloppy. So we'll go ahead, get the uh, get the hole saw drilled, get a hole in, and then we're gonna do a little cut on the board at an angle. And we'll, I don't know what the angle is, if it's 45 degrees or less or more or whatever it is, but we'll use the, uh, the miter saw, we'll make a cut until we find that perfect balance point. All right, so I've got my hole. Looks pretty good. I mean, if this goes wrong, I could make a birdhouse, I guess. <laughs> but we'll just test it here and see. Make sure, yeah, neck of the bottle fits through there just perfectly. So next, We'll get the miter saw fired up and we'll see about changing the angle at the bottom of this board. So this is a 45 degree angle and I tried to set it up on the floor with the bottle and that's too steep of an angle or not steep enough. Anyway, anyways, they're not the right angle. So I'm gonna change the angle on the saw. We're gonna recut and uh, we're gonna find the optimum angle. So we're gonna go 45, we're gonna go 35. I mean, I can go, I got a lot of board here. I got a, I got a ways to go. So we got some room for error. Well, look at that folks. That's fantastic. 25 degrees was the magic number. And uh, you put the bottle all the way into, the, you know, to the depth of the throat and it holds it and it stands there all by itself. Now, of course, I fully expect that as you take a drink from this bottle, everything about this changes. The balance point, everything changes, right? So this is, not, this is only gonna work with this bottle while it's full. So I'm, I've seen this with wine bottles before, right? And, I, and that's why I think, okay, well, once you take it out of the stand, that wine bottle is dead. You pretty much have to finish it because the balance point will change based on how much is in the bottle. Anyways, just thought that was a cool five minute craft at 5.30 in the morning. And uh, I better get outside, let my sheep out of the barn and get back to work. So I'll let you go for now. Hope you have a fantastic day and we'll see you tomorrow.